All right, all right. So this is your your little book collection. Yeah, here's my books. Yeah, my book collection. So, so what do you have in there? These are memorized. Um, this is Alan Lee and Brian Froud. It's fairies. Um, Michael Whalen here. Oh yeah, here's uh, a letter from Michael Whalen right here. Magically appeared. It was right there. Yeah. What book is that? Um, that is. I don't have that one. That's that's Wonderworks. Let me see. Let me find a good one of his. Is yeah. it that three hundred dollar book? No, this is like forty bucks. Oh. But I read it before I left the bookstore though. Oh. That's pretty cool. Um, this is uh Dave Stevens. He he is an he's, he 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 made the Rocketeer. This guy. The Rocketeer. Yeah. Show me. He did like a lot of. Uh, oh 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 yeah yeah I know what you talked about Dave yeah. Dave Stevens. Lots yeah. Of cheesecake stuff. The fun things. Oh, Stephen Lyman. Stephen Lyman, show me that one. The the um. He died mountain climbing. It uh. Um, yeah, the the forest uh, at nighttime fire. Yeah. You see his stuff at Burger King a lot. Oh, that's insulting. No, they're prints. Are you kidding? They're national. He yeah, was yeah. A, he was the third best selling print artist when he died. Um. No, well, I remember when he died. Yeah, um, and he was from Idaho too. So. Oh, was he? Yeah, I didn't know that. He was Idaho. I'm pretty sure she look at that. Yeah. He paints. I'm pretty sure he paints acrylic on masonite. And uh, he doesn't say though. I I don't like the text in here. All it does is talk about you know, you know, uh, mirror and what mirror said. You know, which is nice. <laughs> but you know, I want to know. I want to know what he did. You know, I want to know what medium he worked in. Yeah. Get get to the meat. Oh, well, this is my um, wildlife artist book. I have it. I see. I got it all memorized. That's uh. Oh, that's a, uh, Reese, what's his name? Uh, this is, uh, the guy, Mater, Mater Dixon that paints underwater. Oh, really? Oh, Stanley Metzoff, I mean, yeah. Now, is he an uh, older artist? I mean, is he, is he still getting around? Uh, he was older when this was published. This was published back in the 70s. Oh, okay, because it, it does look kind of an old style. This is Ken Carlson. Oh, this is Robert Bateman. I'm a huge, this is Ken Carlson. Uh, yeah, Robert, Robert Bateman is freaking awesome. He's the one that paints in acrylics. Right. But he uses a limited palette, too. He uses ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, white, and then um, he doesn't use cobalt. He doesn't use cerulean. Really? I think he uses, I think it's Prussian blue. But he's the one that mixes it in little baby food jars. But he mixes the consistency of latex paint. And so maybe that's why I'm really enjoying working with latex paint. I don't know. Do you have, uh, do you have any of these books here? Uh, Robert. Robert. Yeah, Robert Bateman. Oh yeah, um, oh, uh, down there at the PNC. Uh, what Patty's? Patty Himashi borrowed my Robert Bateman book, so please bring it back. It's on film. <laughs> <laughs> you know how long she had it for? It was six months. Six months. Well, I was given art lessons a while ago, and she she had it. So so um, call call PNC and remind okay. Patty. When when I went oh, yeah, to yeah. the uh, Kimball Art Museum. Uh, in Texas, I got to see 70 original Monets. Whoa. I love his color. Now, Monet does a huge, almost mural-like paintings, right? Yeah, I saw the water lilies that he had there. He had he had some there at the St. Louis Museum. How, aren't they, like, like the size huge. of a house? Yeah, they're big. They're big. I saw some in the Cleveland Museum. has got a really good art museum, too, and I've been there. Lucian Freud's a modern art, artist I like a lot. But yeah, I mean, you know, everybody knows Monet. Yeah, yeah. That's Caravaggio. Charles Girl. Oh yeah, I like his work too. Sfumato is where he, he blends it really soft, see. It's more of the art, uh, old style. This is sfumato, it's where it, it like blends like that. Now did does he go the old master's way, go on grayscale first and then go into hey, is this uh, the trick I told you? Yeah, no, yeah. I won't tell you. <laughs> I won't tell the person on the videos. <laughs> yeah. Does that blow your mind, right? Yeah, it does. It does. It blows your mind. Now, every time I look at that painting, I say, okay, I see it now. You see it. You it's see everywhere. It. <laughs> Holy smokes. There it is, right there. What makes that mysterious? Ooh, we're not telling am I, you. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. I know. Blows my mind. That's Caravaggio. I kind of want to try it now. Yeah. Just, just to see. See if that's it. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a master. That's Caravaggio. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Um, yeah. See all this stuff. I got a national gal. Edward Hopper. I love Hopper. Actually, Hopper does that technique that I told you more than anybody. Look at this. 
Is he still alive? Oh, uh, no. 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 He was back 1914. Oh, was he? Mm-hmm. Look at that right there. What's that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in fact, Hopper did that more than anybody. Look at that. See? And he did big paintings too, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I saw um, in the uh, Columbus College of Art and Design, it was across the street from Columbus Museum, I used to go there quite a bit, so they had hoppers, yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm? I love Hopper, I love Sloan, Hopper, the Ashcan School of Art, Yeah. Hudson River School of Art, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Yeah, so you got, you, you study, I mean, this is the typical artist, uh, they they buy artist books. Oh, yeah, N.C. Wyeth, yeah, that's been used. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have no mercy on my reference books, even on N.C. <laughs> Wyeth. <laughs> well, at least you're using it. Heck yeah, man. That's a good, yeah. I mean, if you look at compositions, look at this. I mean, I mean, I remember... Okay, explain, my... explain what people see or what you see on this painting. Diagonal. Look at that diagonal. Okay, yeah. Go straight... Cause look, at, look at these diagonals. So your eye goes straight to there. The, the shadows, the... Um... Look at the even... I remember even an art teacher talked about this painting. He said, look at the blades of grass. Look yeah. at where they're going. They're going that way. Okay, To this get way. your eye, you're, you're basically going like this. Yeah, it's vignetted with the, some darks. Okay, uh -huh. look at look at look at these guys. The the highest contrast in this painting is this edge right here, but it is balanced. See, look at this right here. But look with the darkest darks. I mean, look at the darks right here, right? Right. And they are contrasted. See, art is contrast. Right. But it's white against the darks right here. See yeah, that? That's and, awesome. and also uh, there's a, there's a dark medium and and light on a lot of paintings that makes it totally. Totally, yeah. Make it, makes it work. But that's a great example. Yeah, I mean, you got. I mean, this is a this is this is you know lightning in a bottle. You know, look at the diagonals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at the okay, look at the value, atmospheric perspective. Of course, you got your lighter values right. here. Right. But um, I mean, great artists. I mean, they their values will be all over the place. I mean, this is a black and white, but you can really, really see like the dark values. Well, that's another thing. You, uh, some are going to do is take a picture of their artwork and turn it to black and white. You can see the contrast. Oh yeah, did you get a photocopy of it? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally. Um, oh, George Caleb Bingham, who was at that St. Louis museum I just saw. Um, yeah, I mean, he would have shadows that were lighter than the uh, atmospheric perspective behind it. Very illusionist, you know, very, very intentional as far as where his darks went. Yeah. And very rarely used black, but he used it, you know, here and there, just a little bit here and there. So art, actually, art is contrast, totally. Now, do you use straight black, or do you uh, do you mix yeah, it up with I use with blue? Black. Okay, that's stupid. Well, no, no. Some artists I mean, think they know how to dolls the painting. Ultra green, blue, and uh, burnt sienna. I know. I learned that in art school too. But look at a Manet. <laughs> Manet used black. Okay, black is um, is drama. Black is drama. I mean, I don't like rules. I mean, you know, I've had, I've been, I, you know, I went to great art school, I and mean, yeah, I was taught a lot of rules. But I mean, look around. I mean, you know. The Impressionists didn't use black. They used burn over mixed with um, ultramarine blue. And I will say that uh, Bert, Robert Bateman does that too. What? He does burn burn. Burn umber and uh, ultramarine blue. Yeah. But, I mean, I really like the guys that... I mean, look at Manet. Manet is black. Yeah, straight, straight black. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at... Uh, oh, who, I was just thinking about... Oh, Caravaggio, who's one of my favorites. I wonder if they, they use black on this one right here. Yeah, that's uh, Whistler's... Oh, that's another goal of mine. Is to be in the uh, Louvre Museum. Whistler's mother is the only American painting in the Louvre Museum right now. Really? Oh. I didn't know that. No. So I would like to be the second. <laughs> you get your ass moving. <laughs> yeah, man. But Carl Lager, I mean, look at all the black that he used. Um, yeah. But yeah, these are my art books, you know. And this is only part of them. I got more, more to than this. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I, you know, I grew up in a little town, so I lived through my books. Lives through. I mean, just study them and 